Let's not go too crazy on the X-Men. Let's just put down one, two, three, maybe a few more. Oh, shit. Hey guys, this is Project J's Fine. Welcome back to Turret Battle Simulator. Now, in the last Tabs video, we did a few suggestions and you guys absolutely loved it. So thank you guys so much for posting more comments, more suggestions. And as always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. Now we're gonna start off with a very cool idea by Dragon Pets who says do six ballistas, six catapults, six how much chest things. Now I don't know where the head butter comes from. I mean, he's just this very tiny little fucker. In this ginormous field of destruction. And we're gonna put those up against two chicken man man. So let's put those like right over here I guess. Oh boy, now this is a pretty creative idea. I really like it. Let's see if these chicken man man can survive this reign of terror. Holy crap, I think the first one is dead. No wait, he's not. He just turned into a little porcupine. Oh, that's the meatballs. Hell yeah, meatball launcher. Now somebody commented that they're actually not meatball launchers. You don't say. <laughs> I know that this was made by IKEA, okay? Look at them firing those meatballs at you. There we go. Oh my god, these chickens are attacking. <laughs> it's a chicken attack. Who thought the reign of destruction would come from the chickens? I thought these meatball launches were gonna go absolutely nuts, but holy... What the f... Did those meatballs just disappear? But the chicken man... Oh, one died. One actually died. What? You, you don't have to shoot at him. He's freaking dead. Look at his little eyes. They say he is dead, all right. Now all there is left to kill is this guy who's still pooping out dudes who are pooping out chicken. That's perfectly normal, all right. There's so many chicken, though. Oh my god. They're absolutely ferocious. Look at them go. Holy sh... <laughs> this guy. This guy's so good at his job. Look at him shoot. Bang, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Red victory. That was an awesome suggestion. Thank you again. Now we're gonna move on to the one from Ferocious Assassin. Zerosis, if that's correct. Please do five Donald Trump against five M19s. Now, M19s don't exist. I'm guessing you mean five M16s. So let's put them down. And we're gonna put down how many Trumps again? Five Donald Trump. That's not fair. Because these guys have one M16. This guy has two of them. So let's go ahead and see if holy shit. What? That's not fair. This, this, these guys have one gun. I'm pretty sure this guy has the exact same one, but then two of them. Okay, I think they... Where, where did your guns go, buddy? Where did you... <laughs> Holy shit! They're getting completely destroyed! Oh my god! Okay, Trump didn't even stand the slightest of chance. Next one comes from Tom Sai who says... Hello! Hello! <laughs> 100 shield versus 100 javelin. TH. Please. Alright then. There you go, that's exactly 100 shields and now 100 javelins. Javelins? What what kind of a unit is a javelin? Is this guy trolling me? I think so. What what is a javelin? I don't I don't see it. There's nothing that's called a javelin. What do you what do you suggest there, buddy? Are, are you trying to troll me here? I'm just gonna assume that a javelin is a ballista. Is that a javelin? I think so. Okay, there you go. That's 100 javelins, right? Let's go. Oh, this I, I can't wait till they actually start. Oh shit! That's a lot of boomer. <laughs> God damn! A shield is so not effective against a missile that's the size of a tree! Oh my god, these things are absolutely relentless. Just insane. I mean, the screen just cannot stop shaking. <laughs> that's how much impact these javelins have. I mean, I guess these are javelins. I, I, I have no clue. Holy shit, that's a wipe. Next comment comes from Garrett Buckman who says, 5M16 versus 50 X-Men. Or more X-Men. <laughs> Well, guess which one I'm gonna go for. Let's not go too crazy on the X-Men. Let's just put down one, two, three, ma maybe a few more. Oh, shit. So here we go. Five M16 men against an absolutely terrifying army of bear guys. I wonder. I mean, these guys actually stand a chance. Look at these machine guns are so freaking powerful. Mainly because of the range and the knockback. I mean, they can't even get to them. But once they do, oh, we know what they're gonna do, right? I mean, people that have seen my other videos, you guys know that these X-Men can freaking fly. Like, literally, these guys can jump and fly. But if they can't get to the target, this is the power of the M16, guys. I mean, they, they cannot get to them. Period. But it all changes when we move the M16, guys, to the close range area. Because I, I guarantee you, these guys are fucked. They're fucked, okay? These X-Men are gonna jump. Charge, my bear friends! Okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, there you go. 
Holy shit! They one shot them! It only takes five of them, okay? There you go. Next comment comes from Hung Hong Ding Hung, if I pronounce that correctly. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry if I offended you with that, but that's how I'm gonna pronounce your name. Please do correct me in the comments if I fucked it up, okay? I'm sorry, I apologize. I love your videos, Proc JS5. Oh, well, thank you very much. And could you do a lot of super peasant versus each other? I most certainly can. Okay, here we go. That's a hell of a lot of Superman. I mean, super peasants. But I guess it's Superman as well. Holy shit, they're all gonna fly. What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god, they're all gonna fly up. Oh, this is awesome. I didn't even know that. Look at this. It's like a ginormous orgy. Holy shit, look at these guys fly. <laughs> this is so weird. What the fuck? Why, why are they all flying up? I mean, I knew that they could kind of jump really high up, but I didn't expect them to go all the way up like that. This is ridiculous. It's like they're slow dancing or something. I mean, these guys in the bottom are just having a ginormous orgy. That's, <laughs> there's no other way to look at it, okay? This is just so peaceful. All of these wars have been about people stabbing, shooting, exploding and setting on fire. But this is just a little of a dance up in the sky. Can we just enjoy that for a change? Yeah, this is, uh, this is beautiful, right? What an amazing suggestion. Thank you so much. Then again, though, I don't think there's an ending here. I think it's just... <laughs> I, th I think it's just this. What the fuck? This is so amazing. I, uh, I, I don't know uh, what, what to think of this anymore. I'm <laughs> Alrighty then. Welcome to Totally Accurate Dancing Simulator. In the skies version, I guess. Next comment comes from Sandu, who says, Put a bunch of barrel people on one side, not spread. And one musket on the other side. Put the musket farther back. I like the specifics, okay? We're gonna get into it. So it's one musket guy. All the way in the back. There you go. Don't, don't fall off, okay? You still got a job to do. And then we have a whole bunch of barrel roller. So I guess we're gonna put those really tight and nice together, okay? And we're gonna see... Oh, okay, that was a little bit too fast. Okay, let's see which one of these dudes can make it the first. Here we go. <laughs> oh, shit. This is amazing. Look at this. It's a wall of terror coming towards you, my buddy. You better get start shooting. I mean, this is... This is... You're gonna need more than just one bullet to kill these guys, right? Okay, shoot them. Shoot them, do something. Oh! It's a chain reaction! <laughs> I get it! Also, oh, this is gonna be bad, isn't it? He's setting them all on fire. Oh, oh crap! Oh, that was okay. You know what? <laughs> he tried, alright. Maybe we can put them in like... You know how birds fly in like a V, in a V shape kind of a thing? Because if he shoots the first one, the rest is gonna roll into the flames, right? I mean, that's, that's how it's gonna work. It's gonna be a dominoes effect. And I'm gonna remove this guy and kind of put him in the center there. There we go, bang! Now it's, <laughs> it's like a big arrow of death, I guess. I mean, are you still gonna shoot it, buddy? Why is he so slow? Doesn't he have enough range or something? I don't, oh, oh, he's aiming, he's aiming. You're aiming completely the wrong way. Oh, headshot! Yes! It's working! The Domino's effect is in full effect! Look at this! <laughs> it actually worked! Is this what you meant? I think so. Oh, that is awesome! Look how many dudes were killed by just one guy with a flintlock gun! That is awesome! Next comment comes from... Shavir McCormack who says Vikings versus the English! That is really cool. That's the first comment with like a team in it. 30 Vikings, 3 X-Men, let's put those in the front. 10 spear throwers off to the side, I guess. Against 30 spearmen, 2 cannons as well. And finally, 8 archers. All right, man, it's the Vikings versus the English. Let's make war happen. Okay, here we go. Oh, the X-Men are, oh shit. These guys are way too powerful, but the cannon crew, I haven't used this like ever, I believe. Holy shit! He's still alive! These Vikings don't know how to stop. Holy cow. I, th I think the English are getting absolutely destroyed. It's time to pack your tea, ladies. It's <laughs> going back to the island. Because this is a war you are not gonna win. Four charge, Vikings! Here we go! There we go! Awesome! That's a really cool themed suggestion, I guess. And the last suggestion comes from Ryder. Hernandez. Now we did the M16 guys in Garrett Buckman's uh, comment, so we're gonna go ahead and put a whole bunch of M16s down 
Just for the fucks of it, alright? I mean, if this is a totally accurate battle simulator in which I don't fuck up the game and my computer as well, then I guess it's not really a totally accurate battle simulator video. I mean, we have to fuck it up at some point, right? Oh boy, the performance impact is already at incredibly heavy. I wonder if there's a... Uh... Oh crap, it says stop. Stop with a whole bunch of A- <laughs> Oh shit! If you're getting warning from the game to actually stop putting down units, you know it's gonna get into a real nice battle, right? Now remember that these units have a hell of a lot of range, which is probably why they're so incredibly powerful. I mean, this is gonna be an all-out war. This, this is gonna be absolutely god-awful. Okay, guys, welcome to my PowerPoint presentation. Here we go, let's, let's war! Let's, oh shit, these guys are so close. Oh my god. That is, that is a lot of pew-pew. <laughs> I don't think the developers intended us to actually put so many units down. I mean, they told me to stop. They specifically told me to not put down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> to not put down so many units. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and remember, leave your suggestions in the comments below. And we will try them out in the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next Brad JS1 video. And then he wants some medieval battle epic, epic music. So, there we go. Now that we are ready, let's go ahead and start this mighty war. Powered by Rehard's Zymuls. Do war, my man. Let's go ahead and fight. Let's see. 